What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to day 19 of the unofficial Pokemon TCG Advent Calendar opening. And you may be asking yourself, why the hell is this Australian idiot holding a PSA card? I've never actually owned a PSA card before, but my brother, who's a bit of a legend, decided, you know what, I'm going to get him a PSA card for Christmas. And then he gave it to me earlier because of logistics and whatnot. But I'm not complaining to have this earlier. And I thought, you know what, I need to mix up the videos a little bit because uh, <laughs> you've watched 19 of these and eventually these ball rolls are going to get old until we hit that perfect ball roll of course but I'll stop chatting shit this is my first ever PSA card and it is I'm a bit buzzing by it by the way it's an absolutely cool present it is a Zapdos PSA 8 it is unlimited don't get me wrong I'm not complaining the first edition one of these bad boys is like fuck I don't know like 2 grand or something ridiculous I don't know what the current price is going for the first edition one but I'm buzzing to have this it's absolutely beautiful it's my favourite of the legendary birds which is clearly why he got it for me I'm pretty sure his is Articuno but yeah guys I've never owned a PSA PSA card before, a slab as people call them, but they're a lot thinner. They're a lot thinner than I thought they would be. So I can't, I honestly can't complain whatsoever. I'm not sure if I should be showing the numbers or whatever, because a lot of people blur this out, but I honestly, I don't know. It's still nice. I want to see my concern when I got, when, before I owned a PSA card, I was like, oh, I like this sort of, I'm a bit of a purist and I like them even having a folder, I like taking them out and holding the card, but I can see why people like PSA slabs now. They don't feel chunky. You can still very much appreciate the cards. There's also a sleeve on it now, though, to protect it, because I would not want, you would not want your PSA slab getting scratched but uh yeah nah sweet i'm absolutely buzzing with this cart but sweet yeah let's get in the ball roll i need to stop uh i'm gonna leave this up here because at least if we pull absolute dog shit today we've got that to admire don't we oh can i put it there because it might throw off the uh the ball roll let's just place her up there for the time being come on first go oh go flat i mean i don't think it's going to get better than that one of these days guys one of these days people have really been admiring that the ball rolls are getting better but yeah guys so we're going to be into the premier ball today for the uh day 19 of the unofficial pokemon tcg advent calendar which is also a giveaway again i really want to remind people about the rules to be in with a chance to win those base set series cards which will pop up on the screen here for you if you want to be in with a chance to win those cards guys all you got to do is be a subscriber and like and comment on all 24 videos from the 1st of December to the 24th of December. Now, there has to be a cutoff point for that. And it's going to be midnight Pacific Standard Time where it's going to cut off. Now, that means it's going to be midnight in around the West Coast of the US. I'm trying to keep it as fair as possible because that's sort of the last-ish point. Back in Australia, it's going to be ahead of us because I'm based in the UK. So, it's going to be eight hours after midnight on the 24th here. So, essentially, 8 a.m. here. I'm going to I'm gonna be up early anyway because it's going to be Christmas Day. But, um... I'm going to be making the cutoff point. So if people are commenting after that point, they will not be in with a chance to win those cards, guys. I have to draw the line somewhere. I hate to say it, but I got, again, I've got to draw the line somewhere. And I'm trying to keep it fair for those people that have invested in this from day one. And you know who you legends are. Anyways, just thought I'd get that out there. Let's get into the ball. Right, it is actually quite a nice ball. And Oh, I can bring that back down now, can't I? Right, let's get into it. All right, it's gonna be a Volcanian coin, isn't it? Right, the coin. Yep, shocker, it's Volcanian. Right, we've seen that now, cool. Packswise, Sun and Moon, Burning Shadows, Evolutions, come on, I want, what do you reckon, guys? First pack magic? I don't know why I'm talking to you like this is a live video, but ooh, Burning Shadows feels thick. So, you know what, Sun and Moon, again, you still owe me. I want some first pack magic, let's go. Code card. One, two, three, four to the front. Come on, first pack magic. Right, fighting energy. Pelican. A slightly larger crocodile. Breon. Molol. Cool artworks, Garmory. Caterpie. Scared Sandcastle. Rock with a hole in it. We've got a switch reverse hollow. And on the end, what do we got, ladies and gentlemen? A Toxapex, okay, it's just a hollow, but it's first pack magic, and we have that, and we have not had that in a while, so, okay. Pretty cool artwork, though, I must say. Uh, I don't know if it's just, the, for some reason, the Psychic Hollow looks really cool to me. I don't know if it's the backdrop, it's the backdrop off the purple that makes it do it, but, uh, yeah, no, the colours are in that. All right, first pack magic, we actually did it for once, which means the rest of the pools are going to probably be awful, but let's see. Right, code card. One, two, three, the run of the way. Right, we got Brock's Grit, Slowbro Spirit Link, Kakuna, Staryu, Onyx, Weedle, Machop, Tangela, Reverse Hollow Machop, and on the end. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I don't think I've pulled Beedrill in the rare yet. Maybe I have. 
but at least it's not a Raticate or a Dugong or a Farfetch'd. But yeah, not a great pull. Evolutions, god damn it, you owe me a Charizard, so bad. Speaking of Charizards, though, let's get one out of this Burning Shadows pack. Code card. One, two, three, four to the front. Oh, what do we got in the back there? Centering's awful. Watch this. Look at that. That is very thick to the right hand side, as you can see. Watch this. This is going to be something very good now, isn't it? Okay, we got a Fighting Energy. We got a Surviper. We got a Lana Rhodes. We got a Tormenting Spray. Oh, let me skip that. We got a Sneasel. We got a Charmander. Again, mate, get out of the rain. You will die. We got a Boxing Crab. We got a Meowth in Grease. We got a Stuffle. But a reverse holo Heracross, which is a reverse holo rare. Okay, okay. Pull this in a pull this. Oh, there's that. See, there's that cheeky Instagram thought again. No one stands like that. Anyways, and on the end we have Raichu Holo yet again. Okay, okay. Overall, I don't. Again, it's never too disappointing when you get a holo, and obviously when you get a reverse holo rare, because reverse holo rares people are a big fan of them. But this is a double, guys. So, you know what that means. Come January when I announce the next big giveaway, I'm going to be doing a thousand sub giveaway when we eventually get there. So, maybe maybe tell your friends to subscribe, guys, so we can get to that thousand sub giveaway. Because I'm telling you, it's, it's going to be even bigger than this giveaway we're currently doing. So, uh, but yeah, anyways. But yeah, January, I'm going to be doing another massive doubles giveaway. And there's a lot of doubles to go through. But yeah, guys, this is, uh, okay, the, overall the packs, it's not the worst. It's not the worst. What do we got? We got, uh, we'll move that out of the way. We got the two hollows. It's not a, it's not a V, it's not a GX, EX, it's not a full art. Obviously, the, uh, uh, pull of the days back there even though it's not a pull but uh yeah thanks again bro that was an amazing gift i, I i'm absolutely blown away by a, a psa I keep i keep holding it and uh but yeah anyways i keep getting distracted by it look at the actually look at the shine on that the, the, i don't know these lighting guys i'm really loving the way it's, it's reflecting on the hollows but uh yeah nah sweet Oh shit, yeah, we could do the Marvel Advent Calendar opening, don't we? And the Marvel Advent Calendar opening for today of day 19 is... <gasps> oh, hell yeah. This is one I was really hoping to pull. Look at that. Although he looks mean and he's always not the baby version. God damn it, this plastic. One eternity later. It's Groot. See, that's much better. You can see in there, the reflection's still not great and I've stopped making that annoying plastic noise. Yes, Groot. Absolutely buzzing. We got little, little tree Vin Diesel himself. Um, for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about and why I just called a little uh, Groot figurine Vin Diesel is because Vin Diesel actually voices Groot in the Guardians of the Galaxy and the MCU for those of you who don't know that little fun fact. But yes, yeah, sweet Groot, absolutely buzzing. He's definitely top three for me. Definitely the more classic looking Groot because obviously they cute, they made him more cute for the MCU and what not. But yeah, he actually used to be look quite savage as you can see there. Like he almost borderline looks like a horror film character, doesn't he? Like some sort of scarecrow or whatever. But anyways, let's not, let's not ruin the video by discussing horror topics. Um, but yeah, guys, sweet. The pulls today, I can't complain whatsoever. Plus we've got to feature my little, uh, my little friend Zapdos over here. So again, thank you, bro. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not disappointed with today's. There was no, there's no raging today. Although I would have liked to pull something decent from uh, Evolution. My day will come. I'll pull that Charizard. Actually, you know what? Put a flame in the comment section. Give me some luck. I just want flames. All flames. That's all. I don't want to. There's no comment of the day today. I want to see flames. All the flames. So many flames. Just a flame, 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 flame. And then maybe with all that, uh, with all that heat, we'll, uh, we'll pull Charizard in the next, in the next video. So thank you, guys. On that note, make sure you hit me up on Instagram at Super Smash Pokemon 64, you absolute legends. I hope you're doing well no matter where you are in the world. But as always, take it easy. Peace out.